Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. In the chapel, we're going to start out with Jeremiah 30, 17. But I will restore you and I will restore you to health and heal your wounds, declares the Lord. So yeah, I'm looking for a little healing. Uh, it is what it is. We'll get to it here in just a little bit. Hopefully I'll be able to leave it alone. Alright, so totally hooked. I <laughs> have one little thing. So I saw this on a crochet page on Facebook and um, I thought it was a cute idea. Behind my ears is really dry because at work I have to wear a mask. And this young lady had made like a headband and then put two buttons on it and then put her mask over it. So I asked her if I could steal the idea. She said yes. Um, I took scrap yarn that I had and just, this is Tunisian. I just did it in Tunisian crochet. Um, I just thought it made for a cleaner look. And I don't have the buttons on it. I guess it's not totally hooked. I don't have the ends woven. in. But I just made a headband and I'm gonna put some buttons on it so that I can strap my mask to it. And I actually started a second one, but I didn't get very far because of my eye. Oops. Oh, that's the back side for you guys. All right, and there's the other one. And this is just some acrylic that I had left over. It's got pinks and purples and greens and golds. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if you can see that. There's uh, pinkish, and there's purple here, and then there's green down here. There's the green. So, um, again, we're in here in the kitchen and I will explain why we're in here in the kitchen here in a little bit <laughs> in the farmhouse so I worked on that uh, the other one that I am making progress on and I now have a goal to finish this is this one right here so I've got a lady at work that um, is having a birthday I want to have this done this is suit her perfectly and so I have been working on it and you will see here in just a second it's actually getting quite long so doesn't look it to you guys but I've already transitioned into there was four colors in this skein and I've transitioned into the third color and then I've got the dark so um, <coughs> I'm thinking that I should have it done in time it is actually going slower than it was because of my eye now so um, and we'll get into that here in a little bit so it's getting there I plan on having it done in the next week and a half so that I can get it out of here um, like I said it's a gift for her and it'll suit her perfectly so there's that one then of course I have been working on and I'm getting ready to start the back to see how tall I can make it. I know how tall I want it, but if I run out of yarn, it won't be that long. But I have my sweater. And yes, it's form fitting and all that. Yep. So um, I have started on the second ball. That's why I want to stop and get this done because if I I want it long, but if I run out of yarn, I could actually modify it, make it shorter, and it would still look as good. So, um, yeah, I this is the first piece of it, and I just need to do the second piece of it. So, that's where that's at. Then, if you watch the video, my polka dots didn't work. Now. I have two theories one is that if I had wet the yarn it would have wicked up faster and actually could do it the second is that I could have not dropped it down in I could have held it just above and just let the die I'm not gonna probably try it again it didn't work I'll find something else to do with that rack it'd be great for drying yarn um, especially if I dye something that's um, just a one skeiner as I call them so all right so what did I do with that yarn 
<laughs> well, I did this. Yeah. So, I saw a picture on the internet. And I will pop that picture in right here. Just so you guys can see it. Okay, so I saw that picture and I thought that is really pretty. And I got to looking at the yarn and I had already draw, dyed the one little 58 yards, which is up here. It's right here. I had already done that. So I had then added in this. Okay. And I thought that'll give me a good base. I can make something with that. But then I saw that picture and I did these. Now, each of these is done in a different way. I started with just red. Okay. And then the oranges. I did orange and yellow together with a little bit of the red. So I want to say it's called variegated, but I'm not sure that what I'm doing is, is really by definition variegated. So the first one was red. The next one was half red, half orange mixed together. The next one was orange and yellow mixed together. And the last one was just to exhaust all the dye, I put a little hint of red in there and then used the force skein to exhaust all the dye. So they're all half red, half orange, or there's red, red, orange, then there's orange, yellow, and then there's one skein that just took all those colors, soaked it up however, and it really came out beautiful. I mean, I know it's not perfect, but it's the way I've always done those, you know, start with, and normally I would have started with the red orange and then I would have faded to yellow, but there was no yellow in that picture, number one. And number two, I don't really like the yellow. It would, I would want it to be more of a golden yellow than the yellow that I had used. So, but anyway, I did dye it that way and one of these days I'll take you along and show you how I measure. I, most of it's by eye. I really just do it. One friend of mine says, you've got an eye for color. Nope, I just know that this and this make this. So I guess that is having an eye for color. Then I decided I want to make a poncho and I have made one of these before, but I can't find my pattern. So, and, and I'm not even sure if I had a pattern or if I just did it. So I sat down and wrote up this. And yes, it's a little chart. And I'm going to start by, it'll actually start, and I'm bad at this because it's going to, it, this is in the, is backwards. So I'm going to start here, chain four, and then I'm going to double crochet two back into this right here. Does that make sense? And then I will chain three and two double crochet in the same one. That's not a space or anything. That's just my sucky drawing. And then I'm going to double crochet three in the top. And it's going to look like a granny square. Okay. But it's going to be from the bottom up because I'm going to take the time and I'm going to divide each of these in half with the exception of this one right here. I'm going to leave the 58 yards because I want to put a, um, what do you call it, uh, cowl type neck on this. So I'll have the 58 yards to do that. I am going to start here and do a front and a back of those two, stitch it together. And I've actually already done this sort of once and it came out really pretty and it sold very fast but I am going to start with the oranges and go up to the reds and then have the cowl in this. I thought I might do some yellow in this um, 
maybe as the cowl have it you know because it almost looks like fire um i wish that i had a great way to show you all the colors because this looks very muted on there and it's not it is absolutely not this red is bright red it looks faded in that picture it is not this is fire engine red so i thought about maybe doing some yellow at the top instead of making the little cowl here or the little neck here i thought about making a yellow neck but i don't know that i will i, I think that's going to make it too over the top and just so you know that's a lot of weight <laughs> but it is all dried i'm going to get it um divided today my main focus right now is on getting this little one done okay i've got to get this done for birthday and get it out of here if you remember i wanted that thing gone by the first of the year and i haven't gotten it done um now i haven't put anything more on the wheel because i have very specific projects that i need to get done and um some some that i want to get done uh i still have the gray on miss kitty and i'm still working on that i haven't spun a whole lot of it but that leads me to why um so first uh i got what i thought was a sinus headache saturday now the weather has been crazy and when i say crazy i mean yesterday was 70 degrees today we're topping out at 20 something and it's supposed to rain and snow yesterday we were running around in short sleeves you, you can't even dress for the weather at the office because we are constantly have to fuss with the heat and the cold you know um yesterday we were fighting trying to not turn on the air conditioning because it was hot in the building um i normally wear a shirt underneath my uniform because my arms will get cold yesterday when i was at work i took it off so the weather has been back and forth back and forth back and forth saturday i got a sinus headache um i didn't do a whole lot of anything i literally slept and just i had a heating pad on my head at one point i um just was taking it easy i did the laundry but it took me all day to do two um loads because i just couldn't remember to go in there and switch them out and, and you know when you have it's almost like a migraine it's almost like a sinus migraine um i was light sensitive everything so uh that was saturday by sunday as you can see my eye is like puffy and it feels like i have something in there all the time and i was like oh man and so everybody was looking to see what you know by monday morning my eye was burning so hard and just so it cakes up when i sleep I went to the eye doctor and she says at some point I have scratched it and because my contact was over it it got a little infected um, I am now on a steroid and antibiotic drop for that eye four times a day and she says we'll see how that does but that makes it hard to crochet or spin anything and it makes it feel like there's always something in my eye and so I'm constantly going like this thinking my hair is in my eye i've decided i'm gonna pull my hair back keep it out of my face because it just is driving me crazy and when i went to the eye doctor she put this lovely little drop in there and it felt normal i was like oh my gosh and she i asked her i said can i just take that she says no no that numbs your eye and you're not supposed to do that to it so i have to suffer through and hopefully it'll heal quickly uh i can't have a lot of light it really like this light from here is bothering me and it's just because the sun is coming up even though it's cloudy it still comes through from time to time 
and the light makes it so I can hardly open this eye. And if I can't open this eye, I have trouble opening that eye. It, it just burns so bad. So yeah, there's that. But I am going to, I can at least divide the yarn because I'm just skeining it off on two skeiners. It's a little bit of work, but I really like the effect. Um, and then I'll have my balls separated from side to side. Uh, and this one, it is taking me, I think last night I got three rows done, maybe four, but I am going to push and keep and get it done. I just, I want it done. I need it done for that birthday and, and just not. This I did Sunday because it's all I could see. Tunisian is second nature to me. And I was like, got this. And then all I have to do is sew um, some buttons on it. And then we'll see how it does with my mask. And I actually <coughs> brought a mask home to try it. So other than that, I haven't been doing a whole lot because of my eye. You saw the bomb video that didn't work. Uh, from here on out, I'm hoping that my eye will get better. I should have progress on this. I definitely will have those divided. I don't know that I'll have progress on them next week, but I'm going to attempt. Okay. Uh, I know this one's kind of short and sweet, but my eye just cannot take that sunlight. And... Uh, it is what it is. Just pray for my healing. Send me good vibes, good mojo. Make my eye quit hurt. And I can't wear my contacts for a week. That's the other thing. So I'm in my glasses. And I don't always like my glasses. Anyway. Um, I will talk to you guys later. You, This obviously is an update. And then um, I'm going to make another short video. Uh, maybe some spinning. I've got that other spinning on there. I can at least show how I that's one of the things that people have asked me is about my drafting style so i might make that this week but other than that i'm gonna get off here take it easy i got laundry to do again today dishes to do because i didn't do any yesterday my eye hurt so bad so all right i'm gonna get off here and clean up the house and i will talk to y'all later stay safe be healthy bye